Then we flew the P-5M. That was a big the Cadillac of seaplanes that the Coast Guard had. We couldn't we couldn't really afford them anymore at the end, so we got rid of them because they were high maintenance cost and and uh, they were very super airplanes and they were bigger and you could land in rougher seas and so forth. But uh, it was uh, it was just a, too big of an airplane for what we wanted it for. Uh, we just had the P5M at first, and then and then we shifted back to the HU-16. We operated the HU-16 off the water. When I was there, we had P5Ms and the HU-16. So the the big planes you said like they're the Cadillac. They P5M. Fe- P5M. They felt different. Well, yeah, they were bigger and, and they were more comfortable and. And like I said, a, a two or three foot swell, you hardly could feel it because it was a big, it was a 65,000 pound airplane. And, and, and uh, it was, uh, well, if you sat in the cockpit on the ramp, you were 40 or 50 feet above the ramp. That's how, where you're sitting up in the, you're on wheels. They, they put float, flotation gear on the side of the airplane and then bring it up a ramp on this wheel flotation gear. And then, of course, then it's sitting out of, uh, up the whole hall is sitting up off the ramp, and then you, and then you, it was a big airplane. So it was. <laughs> so did you like big airplanes over little airplanes? Could you say that? No. Uh, I I liked them all. It like the people tried to get me to say I liked helicopters more than I did the fixed wing and the amphibious motor. I just I liked them all. I mean, I I, I admit that the helicopter was a, a, a more a uh, suitable airplane for some rescue work because you could land in a small place, take care of something. Where if you have to have an airplane, you have to land on the water or you have to land on a runway. You have to have facilities to put the airplane down. 